So if you're interested in getting a permit to access some wood, then jump online to Sustainable Timber Tasmania and we want to go to access and permits and we want to come down to firewood collection and then from here we can buy a firewood permit tells us the locations where we can go and gather the wood uh, now the area that I'm in is in the Hobart area and when we zoom in our options are fairly limited we're either all the way down into Jeevston and Dover or we're up in Medina uh, for the mountain bikers out there we had a Red Bull event up at Medina recently um, now the one that I've chosen um, in the video was Bushy Park so we get to choose uh, two options here so uh, the Medina uh, and Bushy Park option up the top here and uh, scroll down and proceed to the permit so we've got a couple of different options there about how much wood we can can gather there so I went the the gatherers permit it's valid for three months uh, allows you to collect up to 15 cubic meters so we can Click on that one and then add it to the card and then continue on and enter your details and pretty much get your permit same day um, immediately and then you can get stuck into it. I'm up here at the coop. Beautiful part of the world. Just like hills and mountains as far as you can see and you can see that it's been a logged area and it's pretty rough and not so easy to get into so when you come up here you really need to bring yourself the right equipment to sort of clear a path to get your wheelbarrow number one item you definitely need that you need a rake I'd recommend a shovel need your axe, you need your mole or blockbuster some of these rounds are, are just way too big to carry uh, so yeah I'm just trying to clear my way through to uh, an area where I can get some, some decent bang for buck I don't want to spend all day getting the shitty little stuff uh, you'll see in a minute that I've got a 28 inch bar and it's nowhere near big enough to cut that, it was quite challenging got two mixing bottles here just because I've got a couple of different saws I run 51 on the steel and 40 to 1 on the Chinese copy of the steel I didn't get a lot of time on the holes former, started playing up a bit and uh, to be honest I actually forgot to press record on the camera. Um, it was churning through the log pretty nicely until it just stopped cutting. Couldn't figure it out and then uh, realised that I've hit a stone uh, so that just put a halt to using that saw. I've had endless trouble with the saw anyway. Um, used it last season and it was really temperamental it just wouldn't idle correctly and normally when you get a saw you're um, like a single turn in anti-clockwise on the high and the low in the idle settings and I can't even get past a quarter of a turn without it just bogging down or not going not idling at all it's just been super temperamental so it started this season trying to get it started up again it, it just wouldn't start it just flooded so I bought uh, another carby on eBay uh, just a cheap one and I tried that and it, it is idling and it is starting up 
okay, but it's again, it's only a quarter turn to anti-clockwise on the low setting, and um, I just can't get it right. It just doesn't doesn't want to work. So I think my next thing is either I uh, try a genuine carby or something to in between the genuine and the rubbish ones, or uh, just get rid of the thing altogether. Normally when I go out cutting I always bring more than one saw anyway. Um, so luckily I've got my trusty old 500i, uh, although I have had a couple of issues with that. Um, so running a 28 inch bar on there, it's a light bar. Um, I've got an archer chain on there and that is just a uh, a brand new chain so no round grind on there
I've just gotten up to the coot and the whole place has been burnt out and um, destroyed so there's no chance of getting any wood so that's uh, fun times so it's taken me an hour to get here um, and looks like it was a fucking waste of time I can't believe it. There was shitloads of wood here that they could have used, but now I can't. 